It's November um, 9th, 2021. I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking the, um, as far as the puffiness, the humans use these words. They say diet and exercise. My question is, um, diet is now, is that the imperial emperor's version of ways of speaking of money, class, and entitlement? I'm just curious because it seems I'm in some form of common or peasant position here. Um, they have not afforded me a nutritional standard, a nutritional diet. There's been no exercise even offered. Um, and it seems like, because it feels like the puffiness, I'm not supposed to put on this much interplasmal whatever. That same thing with this going on, and it's elsewhere. Um, it feels like when you have an electric drum inside an electric dryer, let's say, or a gas dryer, but really let's go with electric at the moment for general electric. You go, it, the dryer starts to turn and there's cloth inside <laughs> of the machine with some wet, dewy, atmospheric-like conditions of... It's heavily weighted in the material, this moisture. The electric dryer gets turned on and spun in a centrifugal drum-like manner where the clothes go to the outside and as they turn and spin. And, um, and sometimes they go through the center. Um, and... All of a sudden, the heat, the water vape, the water density moves from inside clung to the threads in the material into the interspatial, communal, whatever, atmosphere inside of this dryer. And then it becomes like water vapor, but it then takes on, it absorbs some kind of electric in this water vapor, electric, static, whatever. And it, it produces a whole lot of interspatial static. Some might say the word radiation or radiological effect is going on with the transference of this electric through water molecule that's now in a vaporized form, can't be seen because it's in the invisible spectrum, not the visible photon spectrum of light that we use to discern visual cortex things in our body mechanics. And so it's now had some kind of morphology from this densely water vapor stuck to fibrous with the induction of some convection-like process. The water vapor has moved from and dried out in a dehydration process the clothes it's thrown the water vapor up and this like electromagnetic static is almost evaporating the water completely but yet it's there it's energy and it's quantum state is in a quasi quirk and it moves into some kind of altered magical format. I mean, I don't always have the words for it. Well, that's kind of what it feels like in here. Um, I could eat my son, Cat Scratch, the Mayan calendar baby, uh, Antonucci. Um, oh, really? Yeah, perhaps. Um, he likes to say, He's got this Victor the Scientist persona now that he like uh, like he puts on like a jacket like a character which I love the accent, and he's talking about potatoes and vodka and I thought that was really hilarious because I've never spoken of either in front of him, 
Uh, but he said he saw it on some YouTube video. And so, um, if my diet is something of the starchy nature, because that's all that is around here between bagels and bread, it's really bread and water. I mean, I'm in a fallout shelter. So there's, I mean, there's whole foods here. I just don't have monetary diet in order to provide myself with the su sustenance and the nutrition level that I deserve and that I need in order to stay healthy. So um, this starchy, staticky, whatever that I'm ingesting, because I need to stay alive somehow in kind of sort of, but not really, um, now has this, what we call belts of Jupiter microwave in an FM AM band of swirling convection like situations. They're not always the same. Sometimes they're in different color bands and sometimes they affect the gravity or the appearance of gravity as the human and it's not always a large section of the population that experiences the same it's diet it's nutrition it's genetics it's genealogy it's ancestry it's that whole thing tied in because this is like zodiac level cosmic understanding an overstate so here i am and i'm walking through this disgusting nature in some vortex situation of a hyperbolic chamber of moving uh, swirling storms of invisible gases around me and for some reason my body is taking on electric or interstitial charge or charges that are making it puff up almost like a microwaved kernel of popcorn that then breaks out of its shell, and now all of a sudden is this fluffy, different, altered source. So my natural silhouette of grace and excellence and beauty that I was born, and that my son Anthony still wears in his under 10 category, um, he's got this beautiful thin silhouette that I also wore when I was younger. Um, I don't understand how, um, between the decades and the age groups, why I am being subjected to inhale cancerous lung products of air. It's un it's not filtered. It's not clean. And also the interstitial static charge going through these convection type situations where I blow up with an extra 20 pounds. I didn't eat anything different. There was nothing I ate different. It's only the environment. Something happened in the invisible spectrum that nobody's talking about that all of a sudden I put on all this weight and I can't get it off. And I can't even exercise at this point because I've got electric charges coming from underground ley line source of talk about the global project and the ley lines l-e-y-l-i-n-e-s the television ancient aliens um spoke about that first time i had ever heard of it natural star lines or star paths of energy like you know propulsion or however it works Somehow that is coming up through sidewalk. Perhaps it's a leakage of um, the induction of uncontrolled or unconditioned electric that LIPA and Natural Grid and all the electrical companies put in, uh, or Con Edison, or Lilco at one point. Um... So it's coming up through my heels, my calcaneus, which is like this part, but of the foot, of the heel. Um, it's frictioning. I can see the static friction charges. I can feel the static friction charges on my skin being little pulls coming up um, of impulses that are not arc safety. It's coming up through my calf area and ending at my knee in a terminus and just above my patella, which is the floating kneecap, um, just above that, it is starting to swell in these weird patterns, S-W-E-L-L. -L. Um, 
almost like a tsunami. It takes the charge from the heel up through the leg to the knee, but it doesn't disperse it. it. I don't know how it gets dispersed, but the charges are just starting to swell my interstitial fluid. I don't know how to offset nutritionally or balance out based on the acclimate and the barometrics of the metrics of this fallout shelter.